Good morning to all of my suburbanites, beach bums, and city slickers. I am back because Mrs. Rodriguez is back. Now, based on the thumbnail that I saw, I'm going to just go ahead and assume that Miss Mamas has been watching the reaction channels and is absolutely thinking, hey, I got a baby in this non-bump stomach. Look at this three photo I got right here. And this man of color, he absolutely still is loving me endlessly because look at him smile in this thumbnail. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. Um, like I stated in one of my other reactions, when I talked about one of my friends from college, she just really didn't show. I mean, you could tell that she was pregnant because we knew her and she was just a straight size person. Like I said, I, I think she was like a size 10, 12, <clears throat> which is a, a smaller person. Um, she just really didn't show. And I guess Alex is one of those people, but I, I don't know because she lies so much that her credibility, I can look at this 3D ultrasound and still in the back of my mind somewhere, it's like, yeah, she's showing that, but somebody could have doctored that up for her because she lies all the time. You, you see what I'm saying? And I hate to think that way about anyone, even, even this liar right here, okay? But she dug her way into this non-credibility um, personality that everyone knows about her. So I'm not, I wouldn't be shocked if there's, you know, theories going around that it's not real. You know, I get it because Alex lies all the time. If she would just stop lying all the time and start telling the truth, and then nobody would have to wonder if that man of color got her pregnant with that baby of color. Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start this vlog because y'all know me. I hate to keep y'all while I ramble in the beginning and it's already been two minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, so let's get her on the screen here. And um, this is a Target decor shopping, 3D baby ultrasound with four exclamation marks, just in case you are listening to me and not watching. I, I, I found that out recently that people like to listen to me. And um, some people have even suggested that I start a podcast. I don't know what I would even talk about. If you were one of those people or the person that said, um, that I should start a podcast, guys, what would you want to hear? Like, uh, this is a huge if, like, if I were to do that, um, what would you, what would you want me to talk about? All right, so playback speed, I already sped her up, and we're going to go ahead and listen to what she has to say. Wait, guys, uh-uh, I don't like this. Hold on. She is lagging behind, and I'm not sure why, so I'm going to go out of that while y'all are here, and uh, no, I'm not going to edit this out. We're just going to um, keep on moving is what we're going to do. Let's start over. Ah, Target Circle Week. Bye, girl. All right. Another commercial. And let's see if the mouth is caught up with the sound. Skip. Here we go. No! Why is this effing happening? Okay, again, 
I, I can't stand when the mouth is not um I can't stand when the mouth is not in line. <laughs> I can't stand when it's not in line, guys. That's going to drive me absolutely forking like bonkers. So I need to fix this. Yeah, I got to fix it. It it it's driving me crazy. And look at y'all hanging out with me while I am problem solving. Hopefully, hopefully this fixes it. Okay. A little more ready for nursery time. I am going to run to Target because I got a notification that the new Studio McGee collection was out. And I'm so excited. I saw a preview of something that I think. Sorry about that, friends. But I problem solved it while y'all were here. And, and no, I'm not going to take the time to edit it out. You want to know why? Because y'all need to see what we go through for y'all sometimes. Uh-huh. Because we, we love y'all so much. You see what I'm saying? I'm not editing that out. I talked to y'all through the entire thing. But anyways, let's keep going. I want to put in his room. So we're going to go check that out. I also She said Studio McGee. Now... In the past, we all know as a collective, we have hated Studio McGee's, um, just those pictures and different things that they have. She has found something that she wants to put in the baby room. Have y'all ever seen anything that was kid friendly from Studio McGee? Whatever. This is already just not going the way that I would like for it to go as soon as she said Studio McGee. Also need to go mail the giveaway winners um, box of beauty stuff. And then I also last night wrote thank you cards for everyone who came to the baby shower. So I also need to go. Great. All six people thank you. <laughs> because even if there were 12 people you know, you, you got people that came as a couple, so you got to put them together. You see what I'm saying? That's why, how I came up with the number six. You see how I did that math right there? So Lily and her husband, yeah, it was two individuals, but like you send one card to both of their ass, okay? <laughs> two becomes one, all right? I believe it was the... Wasn't that the Spice Girls? Two becomes one. I need some love like I never needed love before. <laughs> I think that I'm telling my age. I was a huge Spice Girl fan back in like, what was it? Middle school, high school? I don't know. But anyways, two become one girl. So if there were there were couples there, then you 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 six cards is all I'm trying to say. Go oh, grab postage for that. Um, I'm doing my traditional summer makeup now just because it is hot. Another hot day today, so I've been every day still using this. It just adds the perfect perfect amount of coverage. Like see how it just evened me out a little bit, and then you get SPF 50, and it's the Color Flex. So it adapts with your skin, which I love. And I honestly do find that it's buildable. I'll link this again. It's so good for summer. I mean, honestly. We don't need you to link it again, Miss Mamas, because we don't give a damn. I'd say not just summer. I feel like I would use this. Just anytime I want something a little more light. And of course, some NYX Thick and Stick It Brow Dell. I ran to Sephora yesterday because I was nearby it. And I wanted to grab another... Um, tubing mascara from Tarte because you want to know what I dedicated time yesterday <laughs> to like really see if the Tartlet um, tubing XL and I felt like it made my lashes drop and I never really had that issue like it made them heavy and they fell I don't know personally in my opinion I like the regular one better but it was sold out so clearly well I don't know if it's clearly but people uh, must agree in some way 
because they had a ton of the XLs in stock. You guys, honestly, uh -huh. I kind of wonder, I feel like my... I don't know how many times Alex's stands and even the reaction channels I have to keep telling her, but reaction channels don't matter because obviously we don't care about her in the way that her super fans do. But even the people that really, really, really love her have said so many times, hey, you know, we don't really care for all of the the makeup stuff. And, and here she is starting her vlog out, sitting in front of the camera doing her makeup. It's like a big fuck you <laughs> to her subscribers, not to me, because I don't give a fuck. OK, you can do all the makeup you want to do. Uh, I can just skip it, but I'm reacting, so I won't be skipping it uh, so that my subscribers can see it, and I give my commentary on it. But Alex, I know you watch. Hey, girl, um, your people have told you that they don't like this, so why do you keep doing it? And you are in no position. No, I'm talking about you have zero wiggle room to be around here uh, just doing whatever you want to do and being passive aggressive to your subscribers. Okay. Like giving them the big fuck you. I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. After that mass exodus you had after the vlog you did about your baby shower. See, you have charted into a whole nother stratosphere with deciding to become a mom. I'm telling you, super moms, you think you're a bitch? <laughs> oh, just wait. <laughs> just wait on all the unsolicited advice that you are about to, you thought they was going crazy on you about not being able to see the gifts. Wait until you hold that baby wrong in their opinion. Notice I said in their opinion, girl, I can't wait. Ooh, when is your due date again? <laughs> oh, and while we at it, Hey, Nancy, Hey girl, Y'all know I love Nancy. I don't know if she in this vlog or not. But hey, girl, I know you don't love me because I talk about your daughter. But deep down inside, Nancy, you know what I be saying is the truth, girl. Uh, message me. Okay? I know you want to tell what's really going on because you didn't really look excited, Nancy, at that baby shower. I want to know how you feeling. Talk to me. We're besties. Skin likes being pregnant. <laughs> like, it has not been this clear in so long. Like, I just kind of get, like, a miscellaneous breakout here and there. How the heck can you look at your face full of makeup and say, oh, my God, look at my skin. It's so beautiful. Wah, wah, wah. And, you know, it just hasn't been this clear the whole time I've been pregnant. Girl, shut up. You just, we just watched you put makeup on it, ma'am. I mean, I'm going to continue with the skincare that I'm doing afterwards because, I mean, I have kept it pretty minimal, but I've tried doing that before, too. But, like, right now, I've just been doing the Effaclair cleanser from La Roche-Posay, and then I've been doing the Kinship, um, like, marshmallow um, moisturizer. So I'm just going to keep only using those after and see how it goes. But, like, I don't know. I feel like my skin actually agrees with being pregnant. And then also it makes me wonder, like, is it the whole... You know, what old wives' tale where with a girl it sucks the beauty out of you or something? Is that what they say? And since I'm having a boy, I'm like, is he giving me, is he giving me life to my skin? Or is it all? Shut up. That's what, that, that baby of color, he said, shut, shut up. You are well past that. Shut up. Okay? Because no wives' tale about a baby can help you or your skin. It is a done deal. It's over. Ah. Is it all just one big coincidence? That's just life, isn't it? All right, anyway, good morning. <laughs> That's where we're at this morning. So let's go run some errands. And I'm so excited. Studio McGee stuff at Target is my absolute favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. Like, I'm so glad she does the collab at Target because her stuff is so cute. And no, it's, it's really not. Kind of my vibe. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like the last couple of years, my home decor style has become a lot more... Um, a lot more like bland. 
A life force sucker is what it has become. Because I just did a retro react on, on you yesterday, ma'am. Your house was beautiful and it had color and it was nice. Well, not this last one, the, the day before. Girl, stop lying to yourself. You wild, man. No, girl, shit. Hell no. Your style now is bland and sad. It looks like you live in a beautiful prison. Cut it out. Cozy, a little more of the farmhouse energy versus modern farmhouse. Girl, that is not farmhouse. Will you please go on Pinterest and look up farmhouse? Girl, they use some sort of color in there, okay? <laughs> you, no ma'am, no ma'am. You, you're lying to yourself. You're playing yourself is what you're doing. Farmhouse. Um, I don't know, rustic. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. The best way to describe it for me is everything from Studio McGee I just love. I think it's a little bit more, it just feels like my maternal decor style. It feels right. I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to get dressed and we're going to hit the road. All right, I've got the boys running errands with us here. Good morning, YouTube. Um, and first off, look at Yar. <laughs> Yar is like, oh, shit. That woman of color over there that be reacting to Alex is on to me. Let me get my ass into this next blog and make sure I look at the camera and smile. <laughs> Yar, baby, no, I'm on to you, okay? Cut it out. I'm on to you. Yar, yar, you sick of her. You're sick of her. You indeed are. And that's okay, because even her own subscribers are sick of her too. That's why they had a mass exodus on her ass <laughs> a few days ago. Don't worry, you're not the only one that's ready to leave. Up. We're going to do our, I'm going to go to UPS to send off the giveaway stuff because I want them to package it really good just so nothing breaks with lots of bubble wrap. Are you going to come in with me? <laughs> Are you here on a mission? Excuse me, P. I got my big, big bag of goodies. Off we go. Okay, package is shipped. Yard just ran in to grab my stamps for the thank you cards. I think I have a couple left over at home. I have to show you how perfect they are. I found them on Amazon. They are where is he going? He's walking the wrong way. I can see Armin in the rear view mirror. Oh, he just turned around. I think he realized he was going the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know if he's ever been to his post office. But anyway, I found the perfect freaking thank you cards on Amazon. They had the same teddy bear theme with like a thank you, like teddy bear. And I'll show you when I get home. And then when you open it, it has a teddy bear too. They're perfect. So I did those last night and wrote out a bunch of thank you cards. Um, so let's see what stamps he chose. I'm really curious. I told him I'm like, just get like Something like flowers or something. And then we're going to head to Target. And it is, it's 9 a.m. right now. Like, we're up and out today. So um, I'm hoping it's quiet. Like, I am really craving a peruse around a quiet Target with the new decor. I haven't putzed around Target in at least, oh God, at least a month or two. Like, with a, a good putz. A good putz. So mm. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Also, how cute are these earrings? They got from Amazon. Super cheap. I'll leave. Alex, they look gaudy don't link them no one likes them but you to be so i don't know you're supposed to be so fashionably inclined why why do you have on this chunky ass ugly gaudy jewelry i'll link them i'm just wearing an old jumpsuit from arula because comfort is the key right now all right Let's see. I, I want to see what I mean, you chose. But you really requested what you requested, right? Yes. What does that mean? Flowers? That I am a great listener. You are a great listener. Because. <laughs> I'm so curious what ready? you got. Hi, y'all. <laughs> Woo! Why is you standing there looking like somebody? Granddaddy just bent over and. I don't know. Taking five hours. I have you sped up and you are still taking those stamps out of the envelope slow as hell. What the fork, Yar? Come on now. <laughs> stamps are so interesting. Drum roll. 
Oh, cute. Good job. I did little little shouts. They're so pretty. Y'all got on them little shouts. That's country slang ghetto for shorts. Y'all got on them little shouts, okay? <laughs> Y'all don't. Yeah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Y'all. Stop letting Alex change you. Go back. Pretty. Actually, great job. Good, good job. Okay, guys, it's nice and quiet. I'm so excited. Ow! If you're 55 or over, Jesus did you Christ. know you could leave your loved ones with an inheritance of up to 300? Right. Yara's been around some of his own errands, so I won't be rushed. Leave your man at home if you want to have a good time at Target, okay? Wow. Yeah, so here we have Alex raw dogging. In Alex's words, raw dogging, raw dogging the toilet at Target. Uh, do, do you know how many people have sat on that toilet? Girl, that is not your toilet at home. It's so disgusting. But everybody wants to, you know, cry when anybody points out the stupid shit that this woman does. Why? Why are y'all crying? Look at her. Like... She can show y'all herself sitting in a toilet on a toilet in a bathroom, but she can't be bothered to show y'all the baby shower that all of y'all, and by y'all, I mean her subscribers, wanted to see. She can't show you that, but she can show you her sitting on the toilet in the bath. And it's probably because I mentioned it in one of my previous like uploads this this week um about her sitting on the toilet and how disgusting she is um sitting on public toilets and stuff and and, and filming it who does that are y'all in your real life at target you know naked sitting on the toilet and recording yourself doing it are y'all doing that show some decorum she ain't got none. And that's my whole point. And now look at her. This is going to be someone's mother. Listen, poor fella, poor baby. Poor baby. Wow. One thing I will say is I never get a good cart here. Ever. All right, let's see. Oh, put it down. Well, yeah. I, okay, I'm not mad at that one. That's okay. What do we have? Put it back. I'm just I'm just here to tell her to put it, to fucking walk away. That shit is ugly. Okay, I like that. Nope, put it back. Looks like something at my grandma's house. Ugly as shit. Put that back. Bland, 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 bland. Fuck no. Ugly. Put it back. Put that shit right there back too. Hell no. Nope. Don't need that either. Put it down. Walk away. What the fuck are you going to do with, do with blown out glass? Cute stuff for the fall. I have a couple things I'm contemplating. They don't have the lamp I was looking for. You know that short lamp I showed you with the checkered top? Um, they had a floor lamp version. Alex is not a good idea. I know you don't want to listen to me, but I'm going to say this anyway so that... Later on, I can say I told you so. It is not a good idea to put any kind of floor lamps in a baby's room. Girl, I thought you talked to us about your maternal instance, um, instincts kicking in. Girl, they ain't kicking in. It should be common sense to you on why you should not do that. But, you know, I'm pretty sure your stands will come up with a reason why it's okay for you to have a stand-up lamp in a baby's room. Version, they don't have it here. I might try another Target, but I do need a little side table for next to hit the recliner in his nursery. And I really like this. I think it's really pretty. I love the color. I love uh, the glass. It's nice and heavy. You want this ugly ass, dark ass, stupid ass shit. In a babe, again, the baby's room, not your room, the baby's room. Alex, why? 
Why do, it's like you want to make his life miserable before he even gets here. Say you don't like him without saying you don't like him. I'm heavy, so I don't think he'll knock it over. Um, That's the thing, you ding dong. He's going to grow up to weigh more and have more force than that little stand can resist against. He absolutely will knock it over, you dumb fuck. What is wrong with you? It's like you have left the planet and went to your own Alex land. Girl, what is wrong with you? He absolutely can knock that over. What you need to do is go and look at studies from the U.S. about how many like furniture related incidents happen in the U.S. with children with the furniture falling over on them and then it's so sad but unaliving them um I, I y'all I don't know I'm at a loss of words like this woman cannot be this unaware so I don't know I really like the color of it and I feel like it would go really pretty with the sage green so I'm going to think about that. And then also, if I didn't want to do the floor lamp, I could do this on here. But I don't, I don't think I like how that looks. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. So she thinks that it's okay. And not because this is, like, so bad for the baby, but because it doesn't look aesthetically uh, pleasing to her. Not because it's a danger to her son but because it doesn't look good. She doesn't like the way it looks. Not because he can absolutely knock this shit over and hurt himself, but because it doesn't look good. Alex, you're a fucking ding dong. And I'm glad that you are putting shit like this on the internet. So when something does happen, we all have evidence that people have told you not to do this, and you went ahead and did it anyway, and that baby got hurt. Can't wait to show the evidence. You are such a fucking dingus. It's ridiculous. If you don't want to listen to me, why don't you listen to your subscribers? Or go read a fucking book, shit. Never mind. Okay, I absolutely love this dress. I feel like it'd be cute for some of you absolutely do not need that dress because you have a rectangular long ass shape and knock knees. You are going to look ridiculous in something like that. And it has stripes. No! Put it back! For some of the 4th of July cookouts we're going to. So I think I'm going to grab it. I think it's such a pretty dress. All right, after much debate, I am going to get this. And if I don't like how it looks in the room, I'll return it. But I just, I love the color. I think it's perfect for his nursery and then i am grabbing this little rug for the entryway of our house because um the one we have got ripped up and then i checked our other target like right up the street and they the one that y'all have ripped up you barely have people at your house dingus who in the fuck ripped it up i know you ain't trying to blame that dog of color how it got ripped up alex huh it's at your entryway at your house, inside the house. Either way, you told us some vlogs ago that y'all don't even come in through the front door. You guys always come in through the garage. So who in the hell ripped it up? Inquiring minds want to know. And they have the floor lamp. And I really want to go see it in person. So <laughs> I'm going to go. So the great news was the table was considered a dorm essential. <laughs> and it was 15% off. There was also a worker in there. You know why it's considered a dorm essential and not a baby room essential? Because it is, it's not a good idea to put it in a baby's room because the, he can ab absolutely fall off of it. Guess what, Alex? He's not going to stay an infant for long laying there, not being able to hold his own goddamn neck up. Okay? Eventually, he's going to be moving around, rolling, scooting, crawling, and then climbing up on things. 
This is an accident waiting to happen. She doesn't care. All she wants to make sure of is that it is aesthetically pleasing to her. We're in there setting up this area. So I felt really awkward vlogging, which is why it was mostly uh, B-roll. But, you know, so hopefully the next one will be more quiet where I can actually chat with you. But she was like right there and I felt very uncomfortable. Did you expect to marry a woman that makes you go to two targets in 30 minutes? Didn't expect it. Oh, uh, <laughs> bitch, he did not expect to marry your ass at all. You catfished him. He didn't expect to marry you at all until he saw what kind of money you were making. And then it was ka-ching, ka-ching, bling, bling, bling. Dollar signs, dollar signs, dollar signs. Woo, quality, quality, quality. Girl, don't kid yourself, okay? Don't kid yourself. Can I tolerate it? Maybe. <laughs> well, I'm he, just kidding. I'll tolerate anything. Love no, you, you won't. He Wait a minute. Yes, you will, because you want that money to keep coming in. You like that lifestyle. It's cushion. It's a nice lifestyle. You love that lifestyle. Fuck. Complain. I'll be back. Do you need anything? All right. Listen, I am so in love with this lamp. I would drive probably an hour to get it. Like what I, when I went for that um that McGee art, like an hour. Shut up. You mean like when you drove an hour away to go get some fucking what was it? Cookies or donuts? Donuts. Was it donuts? She drove an hour to go get a little fat fuck. Hour away last time. I would. I would do it. It's like the one I showed you guys at the last place, but it's a floor version. It's just. I think it's perfect. I just like it. Just feels perfect for the nursery when you know you know. All right. Target number two. Here we go. I also need buffalo sauce because that's me. Okay, I'm gonna grab these for a cookout. We're going to. Oh, what do you know? It's 15% off. Amazing. You guys, look at pickle ketchup. You? I'm so tempted. Jalapeno, habanero. This looks good. I'm so tempted to try this. I'm not. How the fuck did you get over here looking at ketchup? with pickle flavor when you were just supposed to be going inside of Target to get the damn lamp. Alex, focus. Kidding. All right, you guys, fingers crossed. They have it. They didn't have this art at the other one either. I love this moody. Alex, shut the hell up and walk away from that depressing art. Walk away. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. And that too so pretty this is also gorgeous he's like here's the lamp i'm obsessed yeah. <laughs> i know you fucking lie girl you had yard drive you an hour away first to get um this lamp that is absolutely a hazard, and then it looks like a mini umbrella on the top. Girl, if you don't put that shit back and walk your big ass out of that target, Lord have mercy. That combo looks kind of cute, but I don't want it to take up the whole table because I know we're going to be putting like our drinks or our phones there and stuff. Up. But the color palette of all this is so beautiful for fall. Walk away! <sighs> I love summer, but it's getting me kind of excited for fall. Now I'm gonna awkwardly push this around. <laughs> Don't mind me, people. These are really cute. No, it's not. I feel like these would be adorable in the nursery too. Oh my God. Alex, what makes you think that that is a good idea to put in a room for any child? Under like the age of 10 and even 10 is pushing it because they play around and they throw their toys sometimes and they can get a little rambunctious. That looks like ceramic on the bottom. And what is the top made of? Like, well, I'm not going to say glass. That's not glass. But something that absolutely can shatter. Why would you put that in a child's room, period? You're a dingus. Oh, my God. That is so dang cute. Since I'm passing it on the way out, I'm just going to look at some of the kid room items. This is cool wood storage ledge and you can like organize too i love this too i would love to hang this up 
somewhere in his room, but I don't know yet how the room's going to go. It doesn't matter. Remember, your theme is baby. Her exact words when she was doing that haul of things that she got from her baby shower, she said, my theme is baby. Okay, so why not, Alex? Just get everything that you see up there. Just go ahead and throw it in the goddamn room because you don't have a theme. It's just everything baby. They've got this if I did my space theme. You guys, the thought of one day being able to be a part of the Tooth Fairy experience makes me so happy. Look at this. You put the little tooth in the pillow. Oh my God, for the Tooth Fairy. It's also yeah. our friend's daughter's birthday. We got her a few gifts, but I want to throw in one more thing. So gonna look around. Did y'all notice her face when the baby started to cry? She looked so goddamn annoyed. That's all right. Let's go back. That baby crying was something. She didn't want to hear all that goddamn noise. But Alex, you're in for a treat, cupcake. Let's see. Is this where that baby was crying? Very experience. It makes me so happy. Look at this. You put the little tooth in the pillow. Oh my God, for the tooth fairy. It's also our friend's daughter's birthday. We got her a few gifts, but I want to throw in one more. See, right here. The baby said, and then she's looking like, oh, there's a baby crying. <laughs> Woo! Alex, get ready. Get freaking ready. That's all I got to tell you. Get ready. One more thing. So, gonna look around. I mean, do we really need to see you checking out your groceries? We don't fucking care with this stomach that doesn't have a bump. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, well, Perfect. The Armin is about to crack up as I roll up with my lamp. But I got a few compliments on it on the way out, so I love it. It was the last one. I think. Yeah, because they probably thought that it was going to be a lamp for, I don't know, someone that's it's age appropriate for and not for a baby. <laughs> Dumb fuck. They're popular. Yes, McGee. Love my McGee. Uh, and then here's the. It reminds us, reminds me of the uh, of the frames you got. Right? Yes, yes, the plaid. It's all going to tie together, I think. See, Yar said that we, and he was like, no, that you have the frames that you have. See how quickly he detached himself from this stupid ass shit and that ugly ass art that work that she has there? Good job, Yar. Detach yourself from that dumb shit. Ugly shit. Stupid shit. <laughs> and then there's a little side table. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, like you like it? Yeah. Slay. Might have to put a seat down. Okay, you guys, we are back home. I don't know why I had the most huge brain fart, and I forgot to tell you guys that we also had a growth scan this morning. Um, that's why we were out and about like pretty early because we wanted to like run some errands and just get out on the early side before. How could you forget about the growth scan, Alex? Most people are watching you now because, well, you're in your third trimester, you dumb fuck. Okay? Why? How could you forget that? How? You had a whole scan and you forgot? What? Girl, miss me with the bullshit. Before my appointment, that was an 11. So I'm so excited to show you. I get so excited every time we get to do a scan, but I had a different woman today. She was measuring and showing, and I was just like, oh my God, is that cool? He is now upside down. Last time or the time before, he was head up. Now he's head down. Um, but I was asking her, because I'm like 27 and a half weeks right now, and I was saying, I was like, do you think he's big enough where I could go do like a 3D scan and kind of like see him well enough? Like, does he look big enough? Because one of my other friends who's pregnant said that she did um, a 3D scan at like 26 weeks, and what friend do you have that's pregnant? Because this entire year, we've only seen two friends, um, the two ladies that came over to do your vision board party with you. Um, 
is one of them pregnant? Or do you mean like one of your friends that you used to have, like Gabby or, you know, somebody, somebody else, one of those people that you don't talk to anymore? Like, are they pregnant? Girl, what friends? What about your friends? Girl, what friends? Where they at? You don't have any friends weeks and like they weren't really able to get anything so I asked her I was like how's it how's he looking size um she's like oh well like I can check and I'm like you can check and she was like yeah we can do 3d scan here let me look because if I can't find it here don't waste your money going somewhere else and I'm like really so I was so thrilled it was like such um a surprise I was just not expecting it so it was just like Shut the, up. Best, the best surprise and it feels so real now to see his face, like he was moving a ton. He moves so much. And since my, um, what's it called? My placenta's in the back. I feel everything. And he, he moves, like I said, most of the time. But her placenta is in the back. Okay. Okay. Remember I told y'all about one of my friends from college, you know, that was pregnant and um, she was like the only one that really didn't show. She had something similar going on where her uterus and stuff set farther back. Don't ask me what it's called. I don't know. But she showed, but very little, even in her um, third trimester. So maybe that's what Miss Mama's right here got going on. Like I said, not all women show. And I did reference in a couple of reactions back that show I didn't know I was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Because they never show, they never have any symptoms, and they still have their cycles or whatever. Anyways, that was me rambling, but yeah, okay, so now it makes sense why she doesn't have a bump. But she did get a couple pictures of his face. You guys are going to die. I don't know why no, I'm like, we're not. I know why I'm crying and freaking out, but like to see his face is so real. Like it just got so real. You can turn any slogan yeah. or funny quote into a professional commercial design and just. <laughs> the commercial was like, eh, eh. Baby boy's face. Are you kidding? Woo wee. But that is a baby of color face if I ever seen one. And don't come for me because y'all know that typical black people, we have bigger noses and fuller lips. <laughs> Look at Yar. Look at Yarman Junior. Or as some people speculate in her section, you know, her comment section, they're saying baby Sage. They think she's going to name him Sage. Um, either way, Look at the baby. We love babies. We listen, little baby of color. I have been advocating for you for months now. Okay. We're going to make your mammy do the right thing, okay? Or she's going to be in trouble. But look how cute you are. Can't wait for you to get here. Yay. Are you kidding? His little lips and his little nose and his chubby cheeks. And then after that, he covered his eyes with his hands. I mean, look. Yeah, he was like, go away. <laughs> Feed me all this Bullshit. Get away from me. 27 weeks and three days. That's cute. And whatnot. Love that so much. I mean, look at those little lips. Are you kidding me? Oh, I do. I just like crazy. So look at, look at, oh, I can't. I'm obsessed. Um, we just can't stop looking at these and I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like visualize like a name for him now. Now that I've like seen some of his features and just like, I don't know. It's so weird. Like I said, a million times now, it just, it feels. Again, you already have a name. Remember Yar was like, you almost said the name, didn't you? And you were like, yes, bye. And ended your vlog. Come on, Alex, stop with the bullshit. So real seeing that. <laughs> Cause like she was having us up on the screen. I'm just like, I'm just like, wait, what? It felt absolutely magical. I do think um, maybe next month, I would love to do this again and see if I can get to more. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. I have a monthly scan um, every month now until birth. So in four weeks, I'm kind of curious if there'll be 
if like they're willing to do it again so if so i will show you but his nose i love his nose oh i just i'm so in love with him i'm so freaking in love with him i can't I, it's it's insane like if you are so in love with him I'm not even finna go there because we all know that this woman is not excited about this kid. I don't care what none of y'all say and y'all can be in denial if y'all want to. But I know that there's a lot of people out there that is right along with me. This woman is not excited. She has seen her comment section of her loyal subscribers. And then she's gone along and read her press online with two big sites that I'm not even going to mention here, and then went ahead and watched the reaction channels. And now all of a sudden you want to change how you're behaving for the camera. Girl, you ain't fooling me. I Because I know better. You know, if you were really in love, if you were really excited and et cetera, et cetera, you would have been doing these things whether someone had something to say or not. Girl, you ain't fooling nobody. Insane. Like, it just, I don't know. It's insane. Um, so I was so excited to show that to you guys. That was a huge surprise getting those today. Um, and then also, I want to show you how cute these, um, the cards were that I found on Amazon. I have a few leftovers. But, like, they match the baby shower theme so perfectly. And then the, even the envelopes. Look how cute. That's cute. So cute. And then it came with um, little cloud stickers to seal them in the back. So if you have a baby shower with uh, the bear theme or like a kid's birthday or something and you want to send out thank you cards, I'll link these because I just thought they were such, I don't know, such a perfect find. Um, so yeah, we have been out and about for most of the day. Great. Um, we ran a few more errands after the scan too. We've been out like all day. So I got the gift all wrapped for our friend's daughter's birthday tomorrow. It's a birthday party and 4th of July pool party. So I also... We have three cookouts in a row. I'm trying to figure out like what else I needed to bring. Plates, cups, and forks for one of them. I'm bringing the cookies to one of them. And then I would really like to make some sort of 4th of July themed dessert or something. So sure you would. That's probably going to be in the next vlog. So stand by. But all right. I am just checking in for now. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. JK, I'm back. I also forgot to open this. I got a package from Milk. I want to see what it is. That is the strongest glue I've ever encountered. I hate when I get packages with that thick ass gorilla glue on it. <laughs> like, damn, what y'all used on this gorilla glue? Shit, can't get it open. Do you see this? This looks like something from like the upside down. Like it's giving, it's giving like full alien glue. Uh, we've got oh, a hydro grip. Oh, and it's the spray. Little setting spray. Ooh, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I, I hope this is going to be over soon because it is driving me nuts that her, the sound is not matching up with the daggone mouth. Like, it, why does it, my why is my computer doing this? It's driving me nuts. I will have to try these in the next video. These are the milk. Oh my God, I can't believe they sent me these. Um, the milk jelly tents. I'm so excited. I have been dying to try these. And they sent these two colors. We've got chill and splash. Did you guys see these? These were so popular like, I don't know, a month or two ago when they first came out and everyone talked about how they wanted to bite them because they look like candy. But they're like a lip, face, cheek, anywhere stain. But they're like a cooling jelly uh, material or texture rather guys it looks like a freaking push pop and it's the like, jelly it's so potent it is so potent like i don't know that's strong is look i just wiped it off look at the stainage on my finger <laughs> that's a little scary to me but more than anything i'm so excited it's scary to you yet you're gonna put it on interesting try them actually maybe i'll do like a test run with these before i put them on with like real makeup because that could be <laughs> detrimental to a look so thank you so much milk i'm so excited <laughs> so excited to try those many hours later all right you guys it is what time is it i don't even know seven o'clock and took a shower we had dinner his grandma made us so glad that you took a shower because we know you don't like to take those um some sancocho it's like i look what did i tell y'all <laughs> I made a joke about how that man of color and that dog of color 
go to our abuela so that they can get some good home cooking because this motherfucker right here don't know how to season. And now she's talking about how Yar's grandmother made them some food. Jesus. <laughs> Didn't I call it? Listen, I'm sorry, but people of color, we love us some seasoning, baby. If you don't know how to season some shit, get your ass out the kitchen. It's like this amazing stew. It was so good. Eating watermelon. Because that's, that's what I do in all the vlogs. Also, he has laundry going and I can smell it. It smells really good. Oh, just listen to the birds. It's so peaceful. Um, poor Bruno. I am contemplating overnighting on Amazon the... Um, <laughs> Oh, Yarman singing and dancing. I'm contemplating overnighting one of those dogs. Yeah, he singing and dancing because he finally got some good seasoned cooked right food. You dumb nut. <laughs> That's what people do when they get some good food. They sing and they dance. And they dance and they sing. He don't do that when you cook, though, because you couldn't be bothered with seasoning a fuck thing or learning how to cook the right way. Toggy thunder, um, like a thunder vest. But then I've also seen a lot of people doing like these over the ear. It's almost like it looks like a big sock that goes over their ears um, because Bruno hates fireworks. Um, he doesn't like thunderstorms and he doesn't like fireworks, but fireworks much worse than thunderstorms uh so i just saw on tiktok and i think i think i actually am going to overnight it because there's going to be tomorrow tomorrow is fourth of july when i'm filming this right now um and then that falls on a thursday so i can just imagine that the whole weekend there's going to be fireworks so actually i'm going to see if i can order that you guys will have to let me know if you've tried that and if it works i mean i feel like it's just like some things work with you know some animals and some things don't so let's see you know like this is the one that i saw on uh online i don't know i don't know it has 4.2 stars not terrible and then here are the thunder shirts that are supposed to be calming as well which also has 4.2 stars so it's kind of like should i just get them both and see what works because i hate the thought of him being stressed i remember last year it made me so sad we just he like hid under the table um and then hid by our feet I think I'm just gonna order both of these. Oh no, it comes on Friday. Oh no, oh no. Let me see if they have any. Do you think they have them? Guys, do you think they have them at PetSmart? Can you answer me right now? PetSmart. Dog scarf. How do I even write that? Dog scarf anxiety? Seriously, you just showed us a picture of it? Why don't you just look and see what Amazon named it? Wouldn't that be easy? See, it's like simple problem-solving skills that she lacks that makes me further think that this baby is in trouble, man. His mom is a ding-dong. Anxiety? I am vlogging. I'm, we need to get him... Uh, oh, they have the Thunderworks shirt because there's going to be fireworks all weekend. O-M-G. So I know for sure that this heifer watch me. I just noticed that um, her pajamas or whatever has skims on it. Last night, yesterday, I uploaded a retro react of her trying on the, the skims swimsuits and then wearing a skims swimsuit to the pool with her mom. Bada bing, bada mother forking boom. I didn't notice it until just now because I'm sitting here like, what does that say? Try to say scams. <laughs> so Alex, hey girl. Hey girl. I used to be a long time subscriber girl. I used to love your content girl until I realized that you were a liar. You lied to us. You lied. I stopped watching you around Poopa Gate. Well, no. I was still hopeful during Foopagate, but Foopagate is when I started watching Mama Who because YouTube started recommending her content um, uh, 
covering you a lot. And then you blocked me during your honeymoon vlog because, oh, girl, all I said to you was, why are you on your honeymoon reading, you know, bad press about you and then addressing your haters on your honeymoon? Don't worry about your haters. Just focus on you and y'all because you were on your honeymoon. You didn't like that, so you blocked me. Oh! And now here you are listening to me all of the time. Hey, girl. You miss me? You ready to unblock me now? You ready to be friends again? Hmm? Are you? Skims. Holy crap. Did you just call it fireworks thunderworks? No, no, they they call it thunderworks thunder shirt. It's supposed to be calming. And there's also like these ear covers, but I feel like what are the reviews like? And four, I don't trust the Google reviews. No, on Amazon they had 4.2 stars. Okay. But I just like I'm so worried. Look at this one. It just like, covers his eyes. What is that? Look at this one. What does that do? It only has 3.8 stars. I don't I don't trust it. Okay. Airplane. Oh gosh. Maybe I'll try the thunder vest. I'm starting to think that something like this doesn't exist. What? Something like what? Like something to calm him? Yeah. It'll work or it won't. Some people say it works, some people say it doesn't. In my online research. I think it's dependent on the breed. It just depends on the dog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's worth a try. Chai Yarman done showed up in this vlog again. He gonna make sure he reach his quota so he can get his check, Chai. <laughs> because his, his sugar mama right here it's like, listen, the reaction channel's coming hard. I need you to start showing up in these vlogs much more. Make sure you smile, too. <laughs> she absolutely did in my head. That's how it went down. It's worth a try because I hate seeing him freaked out. It's room temp. Is it cold? Is it room temp? You are and I only... Uh... No, I'm stuffed. I know. You ate a lot of that. Your grandma's not going to Bussin. Bussin. We only like our fruit room temp. Anyone else? Oh, I shouldn't eat too much of this. Not one I have to pee. Ooh, are you going to put the straps on the bed? All set. You did? Yeah. How'd it go? I didn't read the directions, so there's an easier way to do it. So I don't have to flip the bed. I could have just routed the, the stretchy part, the stretchy. Um, oh, like underneath? On top and then underneath? Yeah, on top and underneath because it, it's a thin piece of. Oh. So I could have just like used it and moved oh. it. Oh. But I, I, I muscled it. And you lifted the mattress? The there was no point in that. I got uh, straps to tighten, keep the sheets tight, the fitted sheet, because I absolutely cannot stand. I throw up a screenshot somewhere. Yeah, I'll put it up. They are. I hate when they get bunchy. I hate it. It's like the bane of my existence. It doesn't bother you? Bunchy sheets? No. Huh. Let me know if you guys need your sheets crisp all right i'll be peeing all night take it away i'm probably already ruined from having like I mean, five the problem is is that you finally found the hack on how to find a good watermelon and we've just been having 10 out of 10 watermelons for like weeks on end we've had the best watermelons and it's like it's great but it's just keeps us we have and we always eat them at night we need to start eating it at like 11 a.m like this looks so appetizing right now but I, I can't fit anymore do you ever get up to pee in the night ever no because i stopped drinking water by a certain time enough. anyway guys <laughs> Uh -uh. Don't be cutting him off because he's smarter than you. You ever pee throughout the night? No, because I stopped drinking the water at a certain amount of... Okay, you guys. Like, don't be cutting him off when he's spitting that game and spitting that truth, girl. Ha, ta, 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 ta. Shit. This was the nightly ramble. An evening ramble. Did you put that there? No. This is so random. I thought you put it here. Look at this. <laughs> this was on the, on the table. I thought you put it here. Oh, well. It's my bouquet of leaves. Oh, <laughs> stunning. Why? You want it? You want it? You want it? Like it. All right, you guys. I'm going to end this vlog Yay! here. Yay! Um, thanks for hanging out today. Um, I know I did not yet show you the stuff in the baby room, like the lamp and the side table, but the room's a mess. So, oh, he likes it. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I love when he takes things and runs away. It's so cute. Um, yeah, the nursery looks cuckoo bananas. It is just jam packed oh, with stuff. That's crazy. That's gonna be a project. That's crazy. A huge project. We'll but... take a day and just organize it. Yeah, we'll take a day. Well, when do you want to do that? Sunday? Monday? Sometime next week, I think. Okay. We're too busy the next few days. All right, guys, that's the end. I'll yes. see you again in a few days. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye. All right, guys. So, what did we think? Hmm? What we think, what do you 
What do you think about what you saw today? Do you think that she is over here watching us? Yay, nay, indifferent about it? Um, what do you think about her her um 3D scan? Why do you think all of a sudden now she's so in love and with the baby and just yay? And y'all is popping up in video smiling. Okay, so let's get a discussion going down in the comment section. I shall meet you there. You guys know for the most part, I, I, I do try the best that I can to respond to everyone. My comment section, though, I have noticed has been blowing up lately. You guys have really been having a lot to say, and I am excited about that, and I thank you. And I have been trying to respond or even laughing at some of your comments because some of y'all are certified comedians, baby. <laughs> but anyways, as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me for an hour and one minute. And with that being said, to all of my suburbanites, beach bums, and city slickers, bye.